What is up guys, welcome back to Mr. Tech Boss. As you can see, I'm running the latest version of iPadOS and this just came out like a couple of hours ago. But yeah, I thought I might make a video for you guys and it's 3 a.m. I had. So please make sure to watch this video till the end. But yeah, without any further ado, let's jump right in. Alright, so guys, how to install it or the installation steps will be linked, uh, will be towards the end of the video. But before you actually get started, please make sure to like and uh, subscribe because I want you guys to just be updated about your devices, especially if you have an iPad or an iPhone. So yeah, please consider subscribing. But yeah, as you can see, I am indeed running the latest version of iPadOS and iPadOS 14 so yeah let me show you all the cool new features and there are a few features that are missing but yeah so as you can see there are the widgets and these look really cool so if you want to add a new widget you just you just hold here or something like that yeah. you just hold the time and then click on add and then you can add your widgets if you want so for example if I add notes there are two three types so let's for example say add this one and yeah it looks really really cool and the other one there's that smart one if you watch the WWDC you should know about this but uh, yeah that is about the widgets and there are these are also on iPad I mean iPhone on I mean iPhone OS 14 that's what people thought it would be called but it's iOS 14 so yeah these are available on iOS 14 as well but yeah there's one huge feature that was missing and I was really shocked to see it and there is no app library on iPads so yeah that is a really bu big bummer maybe it'll be up, up added in the future but yeah as of right now there is nothing like app library on the iPad now I'm moving on to wallpapers because I want you guys to see them as well and so there are a couple of them a couple new ones so firstly let me turn off night shift i don't know why i have it on so yeah these are the three that are new and obviously they support dark mode i mean obviously but yeah they look cool i like leaving it in dark mode right now because i have a matte screen protector so there are no reflections anyway and it's just clear on darker screens but yeah that is about the wallpapers now there are a few more features that are iPadOS exclusive so firstly now let me open the notes oh by the way this is the new spotlight search so just swipe down as usual but it looks a lot cooler and uh, yeah now there's also a new Siri uh, like there are a lot of changes done to Siri as well so you might have watched the WWDC conference but yeah let me show you hey Siri Hey Siri, open Google Chrome. Let's see if it opens. Yeah, hey Siri. Anyway, let me just do it this way. Uh, um, search Safari for wildlife. Let's see if it works. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's working and it does not take up our whole screen, which was a big problem. It, I think many of you guys also hated it oh and i just noticed this whenever you have this uh, running it just displays this tiny yellow dot there but yeah oh okay siri recently but yeah that is about the siri and now let's move on to the notes app so if you go into notes and let me just quickly create a new note so if i go here and say i want to just write what is this and now you can literally just copy it, hold it and then copy the text so let's just copy it and then if we create a new note we can actually just literally paste it so it converts it just wait wait what you need to do actually is just hold there and copy it as text and then if we paste it yeah it works it works really great and now also if you're for example say let's go to safari so if i want to type something or write something so if I've already written something and then you have your Apple Pencil in hand, just cross out the words like this, like you scratch on paper. It works too. And you can also write here. So just write what it works. So yeah, that is about it. Oh, and I just noticed this too. This is when you're using the Apple Pencil to write stuff. It just displays this thing at the bottom. If you want the tiny keyboard, 
and this is for searching but yeah all right guys also now there is uh, there are some changes to say for example let's go to photos and it'll show all of the these uh, things or the all the albums and stuff or on the left hand side the same thing applies to the files app so if you open it it all is neatly arranged a bit neater than before and before by the way there was an uh, option here like these three views were separated by three different toggles now they're in one toggle so you can just do like this as well it's a bit faster at times but yeah all right and guys uh, maps really aren't going to be that different for you if uh, you aren't on those listed countries which i'm not but uh, yeah all right so let me tell you whether you should install it as of right now so like if your ipad if you use it as even if it use if you use it as studies or something like that i think this beta is pretty stable like even though it's the first developer beta i did not find i'm not use i haven't been using it for too long maybe i'll make an update review after a few days of using but yeah it seems pretty good like it's pretty stable i did not have crashes and stuff i did have some like uh, scrolling issues in telegram but that is it i guess that's just because the apps aren't all optimized for ipad os 14 yet also guys uh, now let me quickly do a geekbench 5 uh, test i had done it on ios ipad os 13 latest 13.5.12 so now let me do it again on ipad os 14 and i'll show you guys the score so if uh, if i go to history this is my previous score but now let's do another cpu benchmark all right so guys these are the scores right now and let me show you guys the initial scores so before actually let me zoom in actually all right so the test i did yesterday i got a single core score of four thousand of 1119 and right now 1123 so improved by four points multi-core score actually i got 4573 before and now 4629 so obviously it did not decrease and it did increase a little bit maybe that's a gain in performance maybe it's just i don't know it's just a random error because it's not too much of a huge difference but yeah the performance is on par if not a little tiniest bit better than ipad os 13 and guys there are a lot more minor tiny tiny changes i may not be able to cover them fully on this in this video so if you wanted to have a visual change or a visual look at ios 14 live that's what i showed you guys and then uh by the way i just told i already told you there are there is no app library which is pretty sad maybe yeah now if you want to know all the changes i recommend just going ahead to apple dot com and just go ahead to the new ios ipad os or ios section and then just go through this this has all the new features but yeah now let's actually move on to the installation all right so what you need to do is firstly there were two like before the actual official uh one official one official developer profile developer beta profile was released there was another beta profile that was floating ar around and it was saying public beta instead of developer beta one but yeah that is that just forget about that what you need to do is just go ahead into beta profiles.com and just go ahead into ipad os beta profile and this is the right one so you don't really need to worry about it just click on ipad os and ios beta profile and download anyways just click on allow and then go ahead into settings just go ahead into settings general profile and management and then go ahead here and then just install it and then just put in your password but yeah and then you'll need to reboot your phone and then just basically go into software update and just install the update that is essentially about the installation process but yeah guys that is basically about it if you're still watching thank you please make sure to like share and subscribe this is Fuzel Hamad from Mr. Tech Boss signing off